Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I want to talk about the topic that I have mentioned in my earlier video about Chinese people eat everything. As I understand, this worldwide impression of China probably originated from a dog festival in Guangdong, China. That city is called Yuling. So in that festival, people kill dogs and cooking dogs in different ways and make feast with dogs. That raised a lot of against and raised a lot of people's anger about we eat dogs and we're even celebrating eating dogs. I personally don't eat dogs and none of my family members eat dogs and I will never eat dogs. But I just feel like this thing is not something that we can blame or something wrong. It's just what I would say is it's not appropriate or it's not quite acceptable in a modern world. But I don't see that eating dogs, this specific thing, is wrong. First of all, a mitochondrial DNA research showed that dogs were first tamed and raised by human beings in 130 years ago. At that time, dogs were already helping human beings hunting, guarding their home. So their role was more like a friend or a helper, not like the chickens or pigs that came later uh, than dogs into human beings' life. In that case, the relationship between human beings and dogs is more complicated than other animals because we treat dogs more like a friend instead of a source of food. So this different order of roles that those animals take when they first came to human beings' life decide our mood towards the things happen on them. So in that case, eating dog seems to be more unacceptable than any other animals. For example, nowadays many people, even celebrities, they're raising chicken or pigs as pets, but we never really hear anything from other people saying like, no, like stop eating pigs, stop eating chickens. They're also our friends, they're also our pets. No, so only to dogs. That is one reason why I said like, um, eating dogs is actually not something wrong, but we can only say it's something inappropriate in a modern world. When I mentioned about the modern world just now, um, that's the second reason I want to talk about. As the world is developing, more and more people are getting out of the situation where they they face the physical threat to survive, such as hunger or coldness, especially um, in the Western world. So that is why we're more valuing and we pay more attention to the humanitarianism. So this plus the reason one makes eating dog kind of an unacceptable thing to a lot of people in this world. And the last thing I want to mention is that only few areas in China are taking dogs as food. And China is not even the only country that uh, eat dogs. For example, South Korea, they have dishes made from dogs. And in some areas in Appenzell and St. Gallen in Switzerland, people are also eating dogs. And even in Hawaii, there were people eating dogs. At this point, you may ask, okay, that's only a small group of people, and some of those people are not very um, civilized, if that's the right word to use. Anyway, anyway, but when you when you are doubting on the size of the group of people eating dogs in those countries, I don't see any difference when it comes to China, because. If you count by the province that eat dogs in China, you probably can finish it with one of your hand. So to summarize my point of view from the three reasons I just talked about, I don't feel like Chinese people eat dogs. This thing deserves not much hatred and attention from outside world. What food you eat is your choice. Plus, I don't see anything wrong with eating dogs. So I personally don't eat dogs and I won't eat dogs, but I wouldn't 
go to other people and saying, "Hey, you can't eat dogs. You're a cruel monster." Like that thing, I feel it's absolutely wrong. It's like vegetarian. You're eating ve vegetables only or beans only. You don't eat meat. But will you ever come to people and shout to us saying, "You're a cruel monster. You can't eat animals. You need to be vegetarian as well." Those two things, in my opinion, are quite similar. So here, as we're approaching the end of this video, I want to use a revised famous saying、um, as a summary of my point of view. I would say I have the right to reject eating dogs and take it as unacceptable to me, but I respect your right. To take dogs as your choice of food. That is the end of today's video, and thank you. As a bonus, I want to say something more about food we eat in China. So I want to give you guys just a quick brief of many interesting food that we eat. First thing we eat blood. So animals' blood, especially dog blood. So there is a dish in China. Um, it's made from the rice noodle and some vegetable inside, and we make the blood into like a cube size,、uh, like a gelatin. You put gelatin, so it turns into like a jelly texture food. So we cut it into cubes and put it into the、um, the soup of the rice noodles, and we eat it together.、Um, there is no special flavor in the taste of the blood. Um, I think just the test texture is quite interesting.、Uh, I have tried it before.、Um, I don't see anything special on that, and I don't see any nutrition advantage in eating that blood. So,、uh, if I go out by myself, I wouldn't take it. But if my friend say, "Hey, let's go have that rice noodle," I would say, "Okay, I don't, I don't mind." And the second thing is,、um, some people eat insects here. I once was、um, invited into、um, it's called insect feast. So all the dishes on the table were made from insects, different kind of insects, and some of some of the insects were、um, deep fried, some of the insects were stir fried, and <laughs> there are so many ways to cook insects. But、um, for me, I don't really, I'm not down for it because. I personally, I'm so scared of insects. So just by looking at them, make me like shit my pants. So, yeah, I, I would, I want to that feast, but I didn't really have a touch on food. And also,、um, people here eat snakes. I again, I personally never tried, but I saw people eating snakes. Um, I think it's also、um, nothing wrong, and I heard snakes are quite high in protein,、um, but I just never had a chance to eat it. And I heard the the flavor is also quite nice, but you know, probably I will try next time if I have chance. And other things like your guts, like your um, um, like your liver, like you, not your, excuse me, like chicken's heart or like dog's liver. Um, we also eat that. I think that's quite common, right? Because in many, so many countries, people are eating、um, those organs as a fruit, and there are so many different ways to cook it. And it's sometimes it's really yummy, but because they're quite high in fat, so nowadays I kind of avoid them. But it's acceptable to me. Also,、um, when I was kid, I really liked to eat rabbits.、Um, the rabbit meat is kind of Dry, so it's drier than chicken's flesh,、um, and people also like to eat rabbit's head.、Uh, for me, that's kind of not acceptable because I feel it's kind of cruel. But like I said, I just I I just personally don't eat it, but I won't go out and tell them stop eating that <laughs> because again, rabbits is like other kind of animals, right? It, it just、uh, it's rare for people to. Take it as a food, but it doesn't mean it cannot be. And also, I bet you know that Chinese people eat feet, like、uh, pigs' feet and chickens' feet. I personally love them. It's like, especially pigs. 
pig's feet. Guys, you have to try. I don't I don't really understand why it was taken as disgusting and people just hate it. But honestly, pig's feet, it's like so good. My mom cooks so good pig feet. Like, I don't really know how to explain the taste of pig feet because it really depends on how you cook it. But the texture is like, um, it's like chewy because of the skin. And um, so the first layer is, is the skin and then the fat and then it's probably muscles. So the combination is really interesting when you have a bite of all these together or just eat it layer by layer. Anyways, it's just so yummy. So I don't, I don't see any disgusting thing lying inside of eating pork, eating pig feet. Um, if you have a chance, please go try it. It's so good. So when I first went abroad for study, um, it's, it's so interesting because all Chinese people were so happy because of those butcher stores. They don't really keep their um, pig feet when they were killing pigs so uh, sometimes they sell it in a very low price or they just eat or they even give it out for free so for Chinese students that was like a huge blessing because we can get so many pork like pig feet with free, free of charge and we just brought it back and cook by ourselves and it's just a blessing so anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. If you like what I was talking about in this video, please thumb up. And if you have anything you want to let me know or discuss with me, please leave it in the comment down below or let me know by my Instagram. So I see you in my next video. Bye! So we are paying more attention on the humanities hum humanitarian humanitarianism humanitarianism humanitarianism. So we're paying more attention to the humanitarian humanitarianism humanitarianism.